Hello, our YouTube uh, channel watchers. Um, this is Jonathan Weintraub from Team Space IL, and I would like to make a short walkthrough uh, to the rocket experiments we had uh, a few weeks back uh, to talk a little bit what was the purpose there, uh, what are we doing there, and uh, regarding the results themselves. Okay, so why did we do that? Why, is, was, why did we launch a rocket here um, and spend all this effort to do so? Okay, so the goal of this uh, experiment was to test the landing sensors of the final approach to the moon. This is the last kilometers before you hit the ground and you want to know that you are able to uh, measure the velocity and altitude of your space vehicle uh, to avoid collision with the moon. Now this experiment did not simulate the controls required uh, for such a landing for example, we didn't have thrusters on board to moderate the velocity towards the ground. We used parachutes instead. However, in the moon you're not able to, to use parachutes and this will be... Um, we will use a rocket, rocket uh, um, assistant to, to do the touchdown. But the sensors are the same. We're here to measure, uh, to see if the sensors and the, in the algorithms that we're using is good enough to perform the touchdown, uh, sorry, to measure the altitude and velocity towards the ground to perform a reliable touchdown. So the experiment itself, um, the rocket itself, it was goal, is, its goal is to get the, um, the platform that we are using where the cameras and, uh, and the, all the experiment um, is located to an altitude of about one kilometer. From that point uh, we released the parachute, we released the the platform and it parachuted uh, towards the ground um, in a constant velocity much similar to that uh, it will experience over the moon. Now we'll look a little bit about a short video about the launch and I'll do a voice over that. So as you can see uh, we did a lot of preparation to launch the experiment and when it got off the ground we were very excited as you know Israel it's a little bit of a problem to launch rockets from Israel and we're very really excited that the government has allowed us and got us all the, got us all the clearance required to do so. Uh, you can see the excitement. Some of us thought it would blow up. This is the view from the camera uh, installed on board the uh, rocket itself, and it, this actually this part actually parachuted. Um, we're using a visual inspection algorithms as opposed to radar or laser uh, land landing. And here you can see uh, the vehicle as it's uh, landing. Um, um, with parachutes. The green dots is the algorithms uh, calculating uh, and locking on, on uh, known positions on the ground and it's actually uh, measuring the velocity as it goes and this was the purpose of the experiments. And here you can see uh, a preliminary experiment uh, we launched uh, to see whether the rocket motor will survive the liftoff and won't explode as it goes uh, towards the uh, sky. And in here you can see that was done in a Technion. Uh, you can see the launch, uh, the, they fired the rocket successfully and it didn't blow up. Beforehand, uh, we had some, some uh, failures that not all success. In here you can see uh, a helicopter lifting uh, the platform that's on the far right. And the purpose was to launch it from 150 meters before we do the exact launch. And you can see what we thought when we saw this. Okay, so that was a tough start, but as you saw before, we were able to, we did another experiment that was uh, successful and we were able to um, see the space, uh, the, the, sorry, the, the platform as it goes up and, uh, and releases and goes down. So apart from that, uh, um, the capable, the, or the, now we have a video that's uh, capable of, uh, the video, sorry, the video of the final landing and we're capable to measure how accurate we can uh, get the algorithm uh, to measure the velocity and, uh, and, uh, and altitude as opposed to the ground. Now how do we compare that to the existing, uh, to the real altitude and velocity? For that we had an onboard GPS uh, and, and some other sensors like Celometer and IMU to measure uh, the altitude and velocities and angular velocities um, in an independent measure uh, from that of the cameras and then we compared the algorithms um, of the uh, calculated using the visual video to the one that's using the GPS. Now again, on, on the moon we don't have a GPS, but here on Earth we are able to uh, 
calculate and, and compare uh, the measurements of the algorithm and the real measurements. So that was the first experiment. We'll have some more experiments in the, couple, uh, in the incoming uh, months to simulate other aspects of the final landing because this is, we consider this as the most difficult part of the mission to the moon. Um, and we're testing that first. And it's going to be really exciting to see all that as it uh, works. So this is our update. And we'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.